I'm Nancy Seiler. For today's Ask Nancy, we've got a decorating expert from Wilton who's going to show you some great, fun project ideas. Hi, I'm Angie Thayer. In this Halloween, all you need are candy melts and spooky shaped molds to make a variety of creepy candies. For this entire segment, what you're going to need are candy melts. And what you're going to do is melt them in a disposable decorating bag for one minute at 50% power and then at 30 second intervals until it's completely melted. So to make these skeleton pretzel fingers, what you'll want to do is melt some light cocoa candy melts, cut the tip off your decorating bag, and once you've done half of it with white, you can add your pretzel, set it in there, and then fill it with the melted light cocoa melts. And if it gets stuck in there, what you can do is just loosen it up and it, the melted candy will flow right over it. The kids are going to love this. If they saw this sitting at the table, they'll think it's the best. And one thing you can do is you can roll your pretzel so that all the candy goes around it like this and tap your mold so you get all the air bubbles out. Refrigerate it for about 10-15 minutes or until it's hold, hard and you'll know because it'll be frosted on the other end and then it'll pop right out just like these pretzel molds. Kids will love it. Or you can give them as party favors by wrapping them in pretzel bags that have ties and the bags come with it. Another great idea is to have these candy eyeballs. So what would you think if you came to a party and you had these eyeballs sitting at your place setting? Perfect. I started them ahead of time, but what you'll do is take some black candy melts that have been melted and you can paint it, or if you use the disposable decorating bag, just cut a small piece off and then you'll fill in the, where the pupil would be, so I did black. Then take your red and what you'll do is you'll go over top of the black and again making sure you tap every time you do a color. If you feel more comfortable, you might want to let it set a couple of minutes in between the colors so that it hardens. And then for your last one, your last color, you're going to use white. And with the white, you're going to fill in a, on top of your red color. Another thing is you're going to need to fill the other half. Now these eyeballs come in two pieces. So this is your bottom half of your eyeball, and the other side is the top half. So when you're done with the candy, tap it again, just like that, getting all the air bubbles out. And then after you've refrigerated, you're going to pop out the two pieces. With the two pieces, when they're hardened, you're going to put a little bit more candy melt on each side, attach them together, let them harden, and you're going to have something like this. Now, if you want all the detail, what you can do is paint with a red, with the red candy melts using a food safe brush. Very important that you do that. And then let it harden before you add the next color, just like I did here. For the rat, this is an awesome, awesome table setting. Again, I painted in the red eyes like I did here. Let it harden a little bit. And then I have some candy melts, again melted. Remember these are melted at half power or what's going to happen is it's going to harden. Now I don't need as small of a tip to fill this guy in because I'm going to do it all one color. So I can pour in more, I don't have as much detail I have to follow. You're going to need a lot of candy. If you run out of candy like I am here, just reheat in another disposable decorating bag and then, you know, fill it up and keep doing it. Once you've filled it, tap it like all the other molds and then refrigerate it for about 15-20 minutes for this item because it's a thicker amount of chocolate, you're going to need to let it firm all the way through. And then after it's refrigerated, it will pop right out and look like this. Couldn't you imagine having this at your table? It would creep me out if I saw that sitting there. I'd probably scream. Also, if you don't want to buy separate molds or candy melts, you can get the kit. Everything's included in this kit. It has three molds, four ounces of four different colors of candy melts. It's got your lollipop bags, your ties, your tags, all set and ready to go. These can be done in no time at all. It'll be a great gift for your trick-or-treaters, your family, or your friends.